Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey guys. This is going to be a paper card reading where I am going to dive in deep about what prayer or wish is coming to you. Come on in, go to your pile, and let's get started. Pile one. Welcome. What's up, y'all? Okay, so let's get started. For you, you got new beginnings. All right? So there are some new things coming for you guys. All right? Brand new doors are opening up for you guys. We want to dive in deep on these new chapters. Things are changing. Things are evolving for you guys at this time. All right? And um, I feel like you're starting to become a little bit more compassionate with yourselves, which is really, really good. Okay? Um, <laughs> this is like a welcome energy, all right, a welcoming energy, um, but some of you guys are manifesting this energy, right, you're happy, right, this is new beginnings, right, doors are opening for you, you're living in the present moment, all right, these new, um, beginnings are transformational for you guys, there is a situation that is being healed for you, all right, um, this is a chance for you to reinvent yourself, okay, um, you're gracefully letting something go and letting it be and walking away and starting a new life, okay, you've noticed a lot of challenges in a particular situation in your life, a lot of obstacles in your life, and you're walking away from that, you're saying, you know what, it's not even worth it. I'm moving on to bigger and better things. I need to get something better in my life, okay? I need a brand new chapter in my life. And this is what's happening, right? This is the prayer or the wish that is going to be fulfilled for you. This is that sunrise energy that is over the mountain for you. You're going to be seeing omens of birds and butterflies for you, okay? I'm also seeing that you've also been working very, very hard in this particular situation, okay? I do see that you're going to start having new ideas, all right? There's going to be a lot of golden opportunities for you, all right? Um, you need to trust yourself, though. Trust yourself. This is that faith walk situation, you really have to trust your intuition, all right? Some of you guys are going to start getting chills as I'm talking about this, okay? All right? That's confirmation. Um, cleansing your energy at this time is very, 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 very vital, okay? Frankincense, Palo Santo, having that nearby, angel number 333, also significant. Remaining in alignment with what is for you, Okay? Releasing people, energy, environments that is not for you. Walking through the doors of opportunity that is for you. That's significant. There are going to be light bulb moments that is for you. Angel number 355. Okay? I'm seeing opening envelopes, acceptance letters, applications, things of that nature that are for you. Prepare for change, my love. Okay? Let go of feeling the energy of, I don't know, this is a little weird. I don't know, this is a little strange. Be comfortable with the uncomfortable, okay? Because you need to learn how to receive at this time. Seize that opportunity. Seize that change. This is your faith walk, okay? You are protected. Your ancestors are protecting you. This is your transcendence. Now let's get into your reading. Angel number 444 on the clock. You are protected, like I said. Alright, what are they? What's our prayer? What's our prayer? 
that's coming in for them. What's their prayer or their wish that's coming in? What's their prayer or their wish that's coming in for them? <laughs> Wishes fulfilled. Can you blow in on that wish? I wish, I wish with all my heart to fly with dragons. <laughs> Whatever you're wishing for is coming true. Wishes fulfilled. They're coming true. And it's coming with new beginnings and transformation. Your spirit guides, the animals, they're talking to you. A lot of sunlight energy. So being outside to communicate with your guides, being outside to ground. You carry a lot of regret around, is what your ancestors are saying. There could be a relationship that you need to heal or mend, or that you're healing from. Um, some of you guys have, you know, too much pride. Um, sometimes it's hard for you to say sorry, or sometimes it's hard for you to let something go, um... Or to take responsibility for certain things or accountability for certain things that could have been your fault. Or maybe you put too much burden on yourself about something. But you need to make amends with yourself. And let go and start these new beginnings, you know. You need to cherish yourself. Nurture yourself. Love on yourself. Align yourself spiritually. These changes need to be made. Make some changes in terms of your money, too. Be mindful with your, your money habits, your money spending, okay? You may need to put some more money in the bank. Save some money, okay, for these new beginnings. You may need to put a little bit more money in that savings account and spend it, right? Or, uh, you know, at least every time you have some change left over, like every time you break... Every time you break a, a 10, a 5, a 20, put that change, that leftover change in the savings account, you know? And you'll start seeing the money, you'll start seeing the save. I feel like that's a good budgeting habit, at least. You may need to pause and reflect to meditate because these new beginnings are coming at you. They're coming real fast. Look at this. Adventure awaits. You're traveling. There's more birds here. You're going places. Got your heels on. What is this like? There, like, there are a lot of birds here. A lot of sunshine energy. A new day. A lot of optimism here for you. Okay? New beginnings, new day, wishes fulfilled. It's good energy. All right? But see, the thing is, is that you have to be present in the moment. And you have to believe in this. I feel like sometimes you don't believe that there is a new beginning or that there is a new start. And this is where you start pulling yourself backwards, right? There's something about like a flock of sheep right you feel like you're stuck with the crowd right you may not be like that same crowd you may be different from that crowd if you understand what i'm saying so stop comparing yourself with the, those people you're not the same your story is not the same you cannot compare yourself with those people with that flock, if you understand what I'm saying, with that group of people. Look at that. Stop comparing. Stop comparing an orange to apples. Stop comparing. Came out. You have to believe in yourself. The unicorn came out. You're unique. 
you have your own journey. You can't please everyone. You see? The zebra is there. You're unique. I talked about like that group of people, that crowd. You're the zebra amongst the horses. Yeah, you're you're the unicorn. The you know what I'm saying? Like there's a situation here and there's a new beginning here for you. Where you find out like, oh, I'm the unicorn. Oh, you know, I'm not the I'm not the odd one out. I'm I'm the one that's special. So, from what I'm seeing here, your prayer, your gift here that's coming up for you has a lot to do with you traveling outside of your inner circle. You breaking against the grain. You leaving a group situation. You leaving, you traveling outside of that environment, out of that inner circle, out of that situation. Being able to budget financially. Being able to get out of that situation financially. Being able to start new. Being able to start fresh. Right? Being able to see your uniqueness. Being able to see the differences. But not in terms of, you know, comparing yourself. But being able to see and honor and, and respect your differences. And being able to explore. These are... Your prayer is being answered. This is your new day. This is your new beginnings that are coming in for you. These are your blessings coming in. These are the changes coming in your life. And with this new day energy, I feel like it's coming very soon because, you know, I feel like it's already happened, to be honest. I feel like it's already happening like right now with all this daylight energy. I feel like it's already been happening these new beginnings. And it's like a mindset thing that now has to change. Especially with that money thing. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and clear this space right here. So that way you can ask one pendulum question at this time. And you can go ahead and ask that question now. The pendulum said no. That is a strong no. So your answer was no. Alright, those were your messages for part one. Alright, comment down below. Let me know how that resonated for you. And I will see you guys soon. Peace. Hey, pal two. So, your prayer, your wish that is being answered has to do with transformation. Okay? That's for you. Transformation, that beautiful butterfly. We're talking beauty, we're talking finances, we're talking compassion, boundaries, closure, all kinds of stuff, all right? And a little bit of protection too, all right? Um, <laughs> uh, happiness, healing, <laughs> all kinds of stuff, all right? Um, a whole evolution of things is happening for you. In terms of this transformation, all right. So your wishes, wishes, well, multiple wishes are coming true for you at this time. Um, I'm hearing prayers, prayers. Your prayers are answered. You've been praying a lot. 
okay? And you need to stay focused. Keep focused, okay? Stay focused, all right? Focus on the positive, all right? I feel like sometimes, like, you can get a little, um, I feel like your energy shifts often and frequently, um, and if, it's kind of like, you know, if you, if you constantly go higher and higher and higher, um, you can get a little dizzy or lightheaded, right? And so, you want to stay focused on a particular point, right? You see these little circles here? Like, you want to make sure that you have, like, a specific destination, a specific point in that which you, you're focused on. I feel like you have a lot of different focal points, right? You want to make sure that you stay focused. Focus on one thing at a time, is what I'm hearing. I see spiritual awakening and changes in your perception, in your mind, in your spiritual energy. You faced a lot of obstacles and challenges in your life as of recently, and you're embracing the most crucial parts of yourself. Some of you guys have actually went through a miserable time, you know, and I'm hearing misery loves company, and so you had to go through isolation, right? And that's when you transform the most is through, you know, that isolation, right? And so that's where we go through that metamorphosis. That's where we, you know, go through that ego death. That's where we really learn about self. That's where we really challenge ourselves. That's where we really embrace our fears and we really go within and look at the darkest parts of ourselves, right? That's where, you know, our spiritual transformation really transcends. And that's what I'm seeing. You've built courage within yourself. And so, not only courage, but motivation and passion and, like, vigor. Like, this, this dedication and drive within you. Um, that's what I'm seeing. Like, this, these strong emotions that you have harnessed to follow your heart and follow your dreams and no one can take that from you right um this is what's inside your inner world inside your your heart inside of your soul that's what makes you spicy <laughs> um and i feel like that is what has reignited your soul so i feel like this is part of like what um is you know one of your prayers and your wishes that is coming true. Um, so let's let's get a little bit deeper into your reading. Let's see what's going on here. Seeing butterflies could be a significant omen as well. Okay. Um some of you may channel through your nose. Um itchy nose, tingly nose, something like that. Okay. Something bigger is on its way. Look at that. Some of you guys may have uh, spirit guides as pets or as a dog. Okay. Be gentle with yourself. And you have to think about it like a butterfly. A butterfly is very, very gentle, right? A deer is gentle. A dog could be very protective, but they're also gentle, <laughs> you know. Tell us more about these prayers. There's something about delicacy. 
the delicacy of life. Being able to enjoy relaxation. See this adventure awaits. Stop comparing yourself. Interesting. To kind of disconnect from other like platforms elevate your energy we talked about that frequency going up slow down that we have a cat yeah you may need to meditate unplug unplug from social media Unplug from the world around you. This is what you need to elevate your frequency. You know, go out into nature. Sit in the grass. Sit, ne sit next to some trees. Go to the river. Go to the ocean. Meditate. So you guys are, you know, spreading yourself thin on what you can do and your angels are saying listen like you're doing too much for other people and you're not doing enough for yourself you're not doing enough for yourself right now and you're asking you're asking for help you may be asking for help to help other people but you're not asking for help to help yourself is what I'm hearing I'm also seeing like you need to stop seeking advice from other people. You need to look for the advice within yourself because you already know what to do. Is what I'm seeing. Like you need to meditate. Yeah, you need to meditate. You need to like go for a walk. I'm hearing go for a walk in the woods. <laughs> go for a walk in the woods or near trees tune into your inner guidance everything that you need is already inside you this is why slow down slow down baby you, you also need to forgive yourself for something there's like guilt or blame in your energy and you need to heal. You need to surrender this to the divine. You, you need to be happy again. You need to let the healing process begin. What prayers are being answered? What prayers are being answered? The prayers are being answered. Do you have trouble getting compliments for somebody? Like, I just... <laughs> Tell the truth. <laughs> Tell the truth. Tell the truth. <laughs> Do you have trouble getting compliments from somebody? It's like you, um, like you shrug something off or like you don't know how to say thank you. It's like a confidence thing. You're worthy of being praised. Okay. You just say thank you. <laughs> like you're denying yourself of, of getting opportunities or of gratitude. There, it's like something of that nature. This is, this is the thing. Okay, all right, this is what they're saying. Okay, so they're, they're, they're trying to bless you. Your ancestors and your angels are trying to bless you. You're going through a lot of transformation, but you do this thing where you compare yourself to, like, other people while you're going through elevation. And 
you kind of slow yourself down in terms of your blessings. Because... You go, oh, I'm, I'm not supposed to have, uh, I'm not supposed to have that, or why can't I, why can't I have this thing that this person has, or something like that, okay? Something of that nature, okay? And when, when, when you do that, when you compare yourself to someone else's situation, right, you're denying yourself of giving yourself a better opportunity. And I feel like this has something to do with your self-esteem, all right? And you're not allowing your, your blessing or your prayer to come in fully. And so you have to let you have to let it soak all in. Alright? No matter how bad you feel at the moment. And I feel like this is like a situation where like sometimes, you know, everybody gets in their feelings sometimes. And I'm hearing it's like a sourpuss energy. And I don't know if it's like sometimes you're talking to either yourself or you're talking to someone else about something and that's a form of blocking your blessings so you have to transform that energy into something better into higher vibrational energy so this is something that you have to meditate on and reflect to elevate your energy so that way you stop comparing yourself and stop comparing your situation with other people it's not the same. Like you struggle with confidence. And this is something that you have to improve. Like self-improvement. Self-improvement is what I'm seeing. You have to accept yourself and all your flaws. And that's perfectly fine because everybody has flaws. You know. And everybody works through their flaws. But this is something that you can shift. You can shift that. You can trans you can transcend that. You can transmute that. Because the more the more you travel, the more you ground, the more you heal, right? There's something about forgiving a situation, right? The more you're truthful about a situation and honest. The braver you are about situations is what I'm hearing. The more you nurture yourself and validate your feelings, the more you're going to be able to transmute that energy. The less you block those blessings. Because I see the blessings coming in. There's a lot of transformation, right? They talk about beauty too. So it's like you're not seeing your own beauty. See? Accept yourself. You're not seeing your own beauty. And sometimes you have to risk it all. Right? That's the flip side of the situation. Sometimes you have to take risks. Sometimes you have to take, take the risk. Right? Take a chance. Take a leap. And you've been asking, you know, your angels for help. But you have to embrace your own emotions. Sometimes you have to help yourself emotionally in the situation, too, is what your angels are saying. Like, we'll help you, but you also got to help yourself emotionally. In order for us to help you, you have to help yourself, too. Right? And some of you guys, you have, you're, like, gifted. You have some sort of talent. Um... So either you're psychically gifted or you have some sort of potential. You have some sort of talent, right? Either you're like an artist or a photographer or, you know, you can you can draw really good or you're like a fashionista or something like that, okay? Um, some sort of artistry, right? Um, that being said, you're talented, period, right? And so you have to explore those talents don't don't disregard that is what they're saying you know you can transform whatever that is whatever that whatever you need to heal you can transform that pain into something inspirational don't compare yourself to other people right you can validate that 
And that's the truth of the matter. Because other people are going to feel like, wow, I'm heard, I'm seen, right? That's the truth of the situation. Other people are going to see themselves within you. And that's what they want you to see. That's the prayer and that's the wish that's being fulfilled here. They want you to see that they want they want you to accept yourself. Okay? So I'm going to clear this so that way we can um, get your pendulum question. You can ask a pendulum question now. Okay. You can ask a pendulum question. When you're ready, you can ask a yes or no question to the pendulum. answer is yes and that is a strong yes that's a yes that is a yes okay so that's what I got for your reading you go ahead and comment down below let me know how that resonates for you and I will see you next time peace Hey, Pile 3, so let's get to your reading on what your prayer, your prayers, or your wish is being fulfilled or answered is courage. That's what it is. It's courage. This beautiful, fiery lion. <laughs> all right so <laughs> let's get to it all right <laughs> the fears is a thing of the past <laughs> that's what i heard the fears is a thing of the past no more anxiety or panic attacks for you okay um you can you can try to relax now <laughs> Uh, I feel like you've endured a lot of trauma in your life. Oh my gosh. Um, so, let's really like unpack this. You are... The prayer that's being answered is protection. Period. You're protected. You, this is... This is protected energy from celestial beings, from your ancestral lineage, from the divine forces, okay? You're just, you're protected, okay? No compromising, just protection, right? And so, you're protected from predator energy, you're protected from, you know, any type of magic energy, um, anything that you needed to banish is gone, um, anything that could have been very overwhelming is gone, anything that could have been needed to be avoided is now gone, okay, all right, um, I see that you were very, very overwhelmed, okay, like you had faced some really, really, like, high increased anxiety, all right, and lots of triggers, like psychological triggers for some of you, okay, um, some of you guys could have even lit like a black candle or something like that to banish something, you know, or to remove something. Um, or you could have thought of like, you know, man, do I need to do like a banish, a banish of candle or like, um, 
a protection candle or like something of that nature, you know? Um, and some of you guys could have actually done it or you could have done like, pr like protection prayers and stuff like that, right? And so that's just confirmation, you know what I'm saying? It, it worked, <laughs> okay? <laughs> it worked, okay? Um, <laughs> and you avoided something very exaggerated, all right? <laughs> Um, because it was a whole ordeal, um, and I also see healing here, like, a lot of healing, a lot of protection, like, a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of protection for you guys, um, and now, like, there's, like, cycles of reflection for you, okay, there's a lot of energy coming up from the heart chakra and the throat chakra for you guys as well. And if you're feeling that energy, that is just releasing um, any stagnant energy that needed to, to leave, okay? And so I would suggest if you're feeling that energy, like it's like, it can come up like, um, almost like, um, either like, burping or like indigestion or something of that nature for you guys um i would say more water okay and i would say more energy work more reiki for you guys in the heart center and in the throat center for y'all okay because i feel like there could be some some like work that needs to be done there either there is a misalignment in the heart center or in the throat chakra, or you need to carry around those crystals, those stones around you a little bit more often, um, probably around your heart chakra center, wear like a necklace for the throat chakra, or for both, like a combination for the heart and the throat chakra, right, wear a crystal for both of those. Like a crystal that, that works for both the throat and the heart chakra center. Um, so if you wanna if you wanna do like a compound type of crystal that would work for both, I would go for like a clear quartz because clear quartz works for both um, those um, centers. We have angel number 37, 37 on the clock, and 22 um, as well in my mind's eye. Um, you also need to create a sacred space for you to kind of work on your chakras, right? And let's say, like, you can't create a sacred space for yourself because you don't want people to spy on you. And I understand that. Because, like, you're like, oh, I don't want people to look at me. I don't want people to know, like, what I'm doing, right? You can always go to a park. <laughs> you can always go to a park and make it look like you're doing yoga. <laughs> you go, you you go to the park to make it look like you're doing yoga, right? You can always go to like a yoga center, right? And you know, blend in with the yogis, <laughs> blend in with the yogis, right? Um, like they, people don't know, like they don't need to know what the fuck you're doing, right? Um, so just like do that, <laughs> right? Um, or you can find a local place that you know has like a workshop and they do these things just like you and find a space that um is a safe haven for you like a sanctuary um but like create a sacred space for you a private space away from prying eyes okay uninterrupted so that way you can actually really connect with your chi your your energy so that way you can do that um I do feel like um, you, you need to determine your boundaries, um, freedom, right, um, that is significant for you, right, you need to trust your intuition on that, um, it is something significant, right, uh, restriction from feeling suffocated from the outside restrictions of society is also something significant, age number 39, 39 on the clock again, okay, all right, okay, let's get to your reading, whoa, <laughs> let's get to your reading, like, jeez, that's enough of the channel energy, <laughs> let's get to the cards, <laughs> what's going on, <laughs> prayers, 
and wishes. Manifesting. Oh, 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 okay. Wow, okay. Wow, so it's like a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff happening here. Like, trust your intuition. The butterfly. Say you're sorry. Believe. You have the cat and the dog. Look, the cat, the cat smacked the dog in the face and made a boo-boo. And the cat's saying sorry. <laughs> you have believe in yourself. You have accept yourself. You can't please other people. So, this is the thing. You're struggling with a conflict. And you have to choose the path of love. You often suffer with frustration and doubt, okay? But you have to transform that into love. You have to choose love. You have to choose love. So, this is that courage piece, right? So the gateway here is love, particularly self-love, all right? Showing love with no strings attached, saying sorry without being too uppity about, well, this is how it made me feel, right? Utilizing your intuition as a radar as well is the key to survival. Synchronicities, using your intuition, right? Knowing when you can be somewhere around certain people, right? And when you can't be. Protecting your energy, right? Is this a sacred space for me? Is this, is this a space where I need boundaries? Can I talk about spiritual things with these people? Can I not talk about spiritual things with these people? You know? Can I open up and be unique with these people? Should I keep that to myself? Right? Because there, like, there were certain things that kind of like went out of the boundary zone here so paying attention to that on what what leaves your boundaries or when you leave your own boundaries when you when you push beyond your boundaries make waves see a part a part of these wishes and prayers that are being fulfilled is you being able to create movements and waves of energy. Being able to choose love. Being able to forgive. Being able to stand out of, uh, around the crowd. Being able to be seen amongst other people. Being able to be playful. Okay? But you've piled so much things, so many things on your plate that now it's like, you see, like the boundaries thing. You piled so much on your plate that now you have to kind of figure out, okay, what do I have to remove off of my plate? There are certain things that I have to say no to and certain things that I have to remove off of my plate. And you have to take the courage and take the stand and be like, you know what? I can't do that. Sorry. I can't do that. You've asked your ancestors for help. You've asked for, for divine guidance. Agent number 4444. Okay? And you're protected. You can say no. You can impact the world around you. But it's time for you to kind of take care of yourself right now. 
and it's okay for you to kind of unplug, right, and recharge, because this is your healing season, right, and so you have to now kind of think of, all right, how am I going to recharge myself, right, There's a situation where, like, sometimes you bully yourself, and you need to stop doing that. You need to be patient with yourself. I do see you traveling somewhere, or traveling more, or taking a risk to travel. Self-care is definitely needed. You need time to kind of unplug. They keep saying that. Relax. Life moves so fast that you need to kind of take time for yourself. Free time for yourself. keep saying like you have something to, to lose or something like that you have nothing to lose you're not a failure just be brave be creative you can impact the world clear any negative like connotation from your mind space okay because it could also impact your like your prosperity your abundance mindset right Become more upbeat, right? And listen to your body when you need to take a break and a rest. Because something really big is, is about to happen for you. That's what I'm seeing. Something really big in this path with this transformation is about to happen for you. And you're protected. It's protected. That's what I'm seeing. All right? But you need to nurture yourself. You need to take breaks. All right? All right, let's move this and get to your pendulum question. All right. And see what the pendulum has to say for you now. Okay. You can ask your pendulum question when you're ready. The answer is no. That's a strong no. Okay. So that's what I got for you. Pile three. Comment down below. Let me know how that resonates for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.